Hi guys and welcome to beautiful southwest Portugal. I have a 50 minute everyday yoga flow for you guys that is great to incorporate into your daily routine. I recommend to do this class first thing in the morning to get your body moving, wake up those muscles and set yourselves up for a most positive and brilliant start to your day. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the link above and have access to my free monthly calendar that gives you classes from yoga workouts to yin yoga, pilates, meditations and so much more. Otherwise, grab your mat, grab your water and let's begin to flow together. All right, my friends, we're going to begin our flow today standing with feet together at the front of our mats. Take a deep breath in as you send your arms to the sky and exhale, lower your hands in prayer. One more time, inhale, reach up, and then exhale, this time diving down, bending the knees and coming into a rag doll, rocking side to side if that feels good to you. You can also straighten your legs to feel a deeper stretch into the hamstring if that's available. Interlace your hands behind your back, allowing your wrists to fall as far forward as possible, enjoying a gentle stretch into the shoulders and the back. Very good, release your hands to the ground. Inhale halfway. Exhale, step back into plank, and let's take knees, chest, chin. Slide the tummy forward and open up into baby cobra. Release and press into the palms, coming onto the knees, tuck the toes and lift into our first downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg floats up, bend the knee and draw three big circles with the knee, warming up the hip flexor and beginning to wake up the lower body. Extend the leg back to the sky and then take a big wide step in between the hands into high lunge. Drop the back knee Inhale, reach your arms up, opening into a low lunge, stretching out the psoas muscle. Exhale, release the arms down and shift back into half split. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, extend. Inhale, into low lunge. And exhale, press back, extend the leg, this time holding here for a couple of breaths. Keeping your foot flexed and folding over the top of that thigh pulling the right hip back and left hip forward to keep the hip square. Inhale and exhale. Very good, release back into your lower lunge and then bring your hands in prayer to your chest. Go ahead and bring your opposite elbow to knee coming into a twist and then see if you can tuck your toes and slowly lift the back knee coming into twisted high lunge. Lots of control here. Untwist the body, come back to center. Ground your back heel, bring your arms down and open into your warrior two. Inhale, extend your arms and legs. Exhale, bend into warrior two. Inhale, extend. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, get low into warrior two. Now extend your front leg, shift your weight forward, bringing the back of your hand to your inner calf or ankle, releasing into our trikonasana. Breathe in and breathe out. Very good, release back into warrior two, and then cartwheel the arms down to frame your foot, step back into plank or one-legged plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, Exhale, release into your downward facing dog. Inhale as your left leg reaches up, bend the knee, drawing three circles with this knee now, loosening any tension and stiffness in your left hip flexor. Beautiful, extend your leg and take a big step in between the hands into runner's lunge. Drop the back knee untuck the toes and then inhale reach your arms up and exhale as you sink a little deeper into your low lunge breathe in and exhale dive the arms down and extend that front leg into half split inhale into low lunge 
Exhale, half split. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, half split. Inhale, bend into low lunge. And this time as you exhale, come back into half split and hold it here. Folding from the hips and aiming to get your nose to your knee or your shin. Keep those hips square. So think about pulling the left hip back and right hip forward. Beautiful, release into low lunge. And then bring your hands into prayer by your chest. Bring your opposite elbow to knee and opening into a twist. Palms are pressed together. Go ahead and tuck your back toes and slowly lift your knee into twisted high lunge. Deep breath in. Exhale as you untwist, keeping the hands in prayer. Let's ground your back heel. Bring the arms down and open into warrior two. Inhale, extend your arms and legs. Exhale, bend into warrior two. Inhale, extend. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale as you reach. Exhale, bend low. Very good. Extend that front leg, reach forward, bringing the back of your hand to your inner calf or ankle. Your top hand reaches for the sky in our trikonasana. Holding yourself up by using the strength of your core, arms in one beautiful line. Very good, release back into warrior two. Dive the arms forward to frame the foot. Step back into plank or one-legged plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, into your downward facing dog. Now slowly transition onto the knees and we're going to stretch out the shoulders in our thread the needle. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, diving that arm down through the hole and dropping your right shoulder to the mat and extending the opposite arm to the front. Now you can rest your cheek or bring your chin to the mat and try and square off the shoulders a bit more. So think about the left shoulder coming down to really feel the stretch in the outside of the opposite shoulder. Breathe in and breathe out. Beautiful, let's release and now take it to the other side. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, dive that arm back down, bringing your left shoulder to the mat and this time extending the right arm out to the front. Again, you can either rest your right cheek or bring your chin onto the mat to help square off those shoulders and deepen the stretch in your grounded shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Slowly now begin to come on up. And this time we're going to open the upper back in our puppy pose. Begin to slide both hands forward and lower the chest and the forehead down to the ground, keeping your hands about shoulder width apart and your knees stacked on top of your hips. If you are feeling a bit more open in the back, see if you can bring your chin to the mat and lower your chest a little bit more. Make sure to breathe. Deep breath in and deep breath out. One last inhale. And as you exhale, slowly transition onto your elbows and lower the tummy into our Sphinx pose. So now we are targeting a different area of our backs by dropping the shoulders away from the ears and keeping the chest proud. This encourages a slight arch into the mid back, giving a gentle massage to our spine. Very good, release. Bring your hands either side of the chest and push up into tabletop. Tuck your toes and lift your hips into downward facing dog. Take a moment to walk it out by pressing one heel at a time into the mat, enjoying that stretch in the back of the leg. We're going to go a bit further into those hamstrings, so take your right arm and reach for the back of your left knee or left ankle and look up to the sky into a twist. 
trying to keep your hips level. Inhale and exhale. Come back to center and let's take it to the other side. So this time left hand reaches for the back of your right knee or ankle and bring your gaze up towards that right armpit, coming into our twisted downward dog. Gently breathing in and breathing out. Very good, release, come back to center. And we're going to transition onto our bums. So look to the top of the mat, bend the knees and as you jump, cross your legs in the air and land on your bottom. Scoot over to the front of your mat and slowly roll through the spine onto your back, hugging the knees into your chest, giving yourself a gentle rock side to side. Now I'm going to show you two variations of our recline spinal twist. Bring your arms out to the side, legs together in tabletop. Variation one is to let both knees fall to the left, keeping the gaze to the right. Variation two is to take eagle leg, so crossing your right leg over the left. And again, let your legs fall to the left as you look in the opposite direction. Don't worry if your knees do not touch the ground. Just let them hover, or you can bring a pillow or a prop to place under them for some support. Breathing here, enjoying that twist. Come back to center, and again, I'll show you the variation. So variation one is to keep the knees together in tabletop, and now let them fall to your right as you look in the opposite direction. Variation two, is to this time cross your left leg over your right and let your knees fall to the right hand side and your gaze turns to the left. Try your best to keep your left shoulder grounded, feeling a gentle twist into the spine and into the lower back. A beautiful stretch for the morning to start our day. Beautiful job guys, come back to center, hug the knees into your chest. And then let's roll up into boat and hold. Roll through the spine and then come back into boat. One more time, roll through the spine and this time holding your boat pose just for a while. You can keep your hands on the mat behind your back or Extend them out in front. Engage the core and make sure you are breathing. Beautiful, release your legs. And now bring the soles of your feet together as we prepare for our butterfly pose. Grab onto your ankles. Inhale, extend through the spine. Exhale, fold from the hips and bring your forehead down towards your toes. Allow the knees to fall either side, feeling a deep opening into the hips. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Now let's come on up. Bring the knees together and take a quick windshield wipe of the legs from one side to the other letting go of any leftover tension in those hip flexors. Slowly roll through the spine onto your back and hug the knees into the chest once more, giving yourself a rock and massaging the lumbar spine. Plant your feet onto the mat and then let the knees fall either side, coming into our reclined butterfly pose. Go ahead and place one hand on your chest and the other on your tummy and bring your attention to your breath. Feel the breath move through your body. Breathe in and breathe out. In and out. Very good. On your next inhale, bring the knees together 
reach your arms over your head and exhale, roll over to one side and gently press yourself up and meet me in easy pose in the middle of your mat, one foot crossed over the other. To close off our practice today, let's take a deep breath in and as we exhale, close the eyes and rest the backs of your hands onto the knees. Taking this short moment to connect back with your energy and to connect back with your breath. Beautiful, let's take a big inhale as we reach our arms to the sky. Exhale, release your hands by your side. One last time, biggest breath of the morning and as you exhale, release your hands into prayer to your heart. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I wish you a beautiful rest of your day and namaste. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my class today. As you're rolling up your yoga mat right now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and hit that subscribe button as it really helps support me and brings my content further to the top and you get to enjoy more yoga, fitness, meditation and so much more. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world and I wish you a beautiful day. Bye guys.